Hello everybody and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption. It's a pretty gloomy day today, man. It's a thunderstorming. Alright, Wild Bill, come on. Come on, Wild Bill, go. Here. Yeah, Wild Bill. <laughs> Wild Bill ain't listening to shit today. Alright, stop, buddy, stop. Who's the finest horse? Whoa! It's alright, old Bill. You okay, buddy? Who's the finest horse in the whole town? Who's the finest horse there is in the whole town, Wild Bill? He's such a good boy, Bill. Go run and play, buddy. Alright, so we're here to see uh, this fella again. Jeez, it is a stormy day, you guys. For purely scientific purposes. <laughs> I love how Rockstar always names all of their missions. You kind of get a, like a two second, like, heads up of what might be about to happen. <laughs> what the hell? Ah, Marston, sir! It's good to see you, Wolby. Good to see you. And you too, Professor. Forgive me, I am in a state of remarkable agitation, partly due to standard narcotic impulses, but also due to the fact that I have finally solved the riddle that has tormented my mind these past eight years. What's that? <laughs> the nature of the savage soul! What makes some societies <clears throat> great, like ours, and others, uh, yeah, not worse. I would never use a pejorative such as worse, but... Uh, but simmer. But simmer. What do you mean? What makes these beings less human than us? Closer to beast on the continuum between animal and god! You know, I argued with Fortescue and Yale about this. It caused a minor scandal. But I shall be proven right, sir! I shall! Mark my words! I shall show them all. What civilization is all about, the redskins and the knobs at Yale. Come, sir! I have a way to seek both our desires. I will bring you, Vandalin, and me, the evidence of savages reverting to type! Come, sir! Uh, ch children? Children? Don't do drugs, okay? Don't do drugs. Like ever. Just don't Follow do them. Me. <laughs> <laughs> quick, man. Quick. Okay, quick. The small arm, though. Like Try to calm down, Professor. Calm down! I've never been so excited in all my life! Oh, look at Gnosticus's horse, you guys. Mr. Marston. It's like friggin' Gandalf's horse. Oh, it's okay, it's brown on the sides. I thought it was all white. Like Gandalf, Gandalf's horse. What were you talking about back there? Where are we going? Gnosticus has set up a meeting. A powwow, I think they call it. A meeting of minds, of souls. Indians and whites, academics and criminals coming together to find a common understanding. Dustin, this school's making no sense. Some of Vanderlyn's men have agreed to meet with Professor McDougall up at Bear Claw Cabin. Why the hell would they want to do that? I think they are interested to find out what conclusions a white man has reached on hundreds of years of culture and society from the comfort of his hotel room. Wonderful! Do you think I could ask for a skin sample from the soles of their feet? What the I don't hell? think that's a good idea. equip you guys. I hope I don't fail because I'm trying to stop and grab this bear pelt. I hope I don't fail. I might so. I'm willing to risk failing this mission <laughs> to get this bear pelt because I, I don't know how much it's going to be worth, but I have a feeling that it's quite a bit though. <laughs> right, we are good. Ah oh, shit you guys, this is where we had that big gun fight with everybody in the forest a couple episodes back. I do not like fighting in this area. Holy. Here we are. Well, let's get this 
Go to the cabin. Hello, gentlemen. We come in peace. Those words mean nothing coming from people like you. Look at what you've done to us. Look at us! We live like animals, scrabbling in the dirt. But I am... But, but I... But violence isn't the answer! Maybe you live in a different America than we. Men like Vanderbilt will lead you to disaster. I think we've already experienced disaster. The likes which you could only imagine. Put your hands up! We come in peace! What he says, Washington? You call this a meeting? Give me your damn weapon. This is not what we agreed to. You shut your mouth, you treacherous snake! Oh, shit! Damn it! Don't touch! Professor, get down now! Quiet! They killed the stars! Oh, my God. Boston! You have to get us out of here! Stay down and keep quiet! Holy... Uh, two each. Well, leave me alone in here! Damn. That's so goddamn fuzzy. I was! I think I'm a schoolgirl! Get a reload. Get my rifle out. Shit, getting stuck. Fucking come here, Bill. <laughs> Daddy's getting stuck on everything, Bill. Help. Let's go. Wait a minute. Where's Nostus? We should move quickly. There's plenty more where they came from. I feel terrible. My head is pounding. Getting shot at will do that to I you. It's the grave. It's like my body is aged. Take it. Hold on. Hold on. He's like literally right beside me. Might be dead here. Come on. Oh. Recover, John, recover. Oh, that was close. Well, I guess this should be my research. Finished. Done. Complete. Ship trouble with one tank. But having mine cannot be civilized. We got ambushed by a judge's gang. It's a little soon to be drawing conclusions on an entire people. This is very disheartening. I think this is not <laughs> Pistol, man. It fires nicely. It's like bang, 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 bang. It's pretty accurate, too. Whoa. Seems a little quiet. Thank the Lord. 
so much for a meeting of minds. Thank you, Mr. Marston. I could be boiling in a pot right now if it wasn't for you. Get some rest, Professor. There, there, there. There you go. <clears throat> well, now the, uh, now the, uh, shops are actually open, so... Uh, ooh, a map of the Great Plains. We definitely need that. Nothing else that we need. <coughs> Let's go ahead and use that uh, map real fast. There we go. Oh yeah, that's right. We were we were unable to go. Why is my camera not moving with me? You see that? Holy crap, the explosive rifle, you guys. Ooh, Evans repeater, buffalo rifle, Carcano. What? And I'm a real Mauser, you guys. A real fucking Mauser. Oh, I need 400 bucks. I wonder if we have anything to sell. Oh, please tell me we have enough. A real Mauser? Yes! Fifteen shots. Oh, that's nasty. I don't want to start shooting because we'll attract a uh, lot enforcement. Oops. <laughs> Wild Bill, come on, buddy. Back between 6 p.m. and 5 a.m., so it's a nighttime, yeah. nighttime mission. Uh, some time. Let's see what time it is. Yeah, let's just sleep one more time just to make sure. Sleep. <laughs> sleep one more time just to make sure that it's at the right time. Wild Bill, so he's in the mission. If we uh, if we're gonna be taking our horses, watch out for that dog, Wild Bill. <laughs> hey, buddy. The prodigal, the prodigal son returns <laughs> to Yale. <laughs> like what the hell? Professor. I am, sir. Do you know, do you know the thing, the thing that is vital 
without which scholarship cannot proceed, sir? No, I don't. I'm not having a bullet in your flipping neck, sir. I'm not cut out for this. I'm not, not cut out for this at all. <laughs> nope. They're fucking savages! Savages! I think we all are. Not me, sir. I'm from Connecticut. I'm a professor at Yale. I write books. I do not deserve to die out here. Where's my tincture? Okay, Professor. Oh, dandy, sir. Just dandy. Oh, three heavens above! Is that you, John? Is that Vanderlyn? Hello, Dutch. Oh, shit. I think that's what they call two for the price of one out here in this wonderful place. Maybe so, Dutch. You and, and, and your friend there, the Professor? We're going to kill the both of you. Why you want to do a thing like that? I don't know. Sport, I guess. Fair enough. Why don't I come out there? We fight. Let the professor go and send your boys back to their families. Well, that, that sounds like a beautiful plan, John. Only problem is, my boy's here. They already lost their families a long time ago. We aren't thieves, John. <laughs> we're fighting for something a, a bit like you. Only we're fighting for an idea, not just for ourselves. <clears throat> That's beautiful, Dutch. You always were a fine speaker. I was. Now, would you kindly send that academic out here so we can show him what we really think about the art of anthropology. Please, what are we going to do? I'm going to hand you over to him and watch him tear you limb from limb. What? Huh? I'm just kidding. We're going to run across the rooftops. Get you back to your ivory tower. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We're still here. Come on. <laughs> Google to the roof. John! Help me, John! One more move, and he's a dead man! Am I too late? My God, you took your sweet time! Oh, pick up the sniper rifle. Er. Gotcha. What do we do now? Oh, my. We gotta spin down on both sides. No, no, get down. Oh man, look at them all, you guys. Okay, you... <laughs> Fuck that rifle. There's a lot of them, yo. I want that guy that's closest to me, but I'll take him as well. Is 
should be in an alleyway down here. Never in all my days. Come on, man, go, go, go. Come on, let's get the hell out of Blackwater. some good material for your next book. You know, I dreamt of documenting the last days of the Old West, the romance, the honor, the nobility, but it turns out it's just people killing each other. It always was, Professor, and the Old West ain't quite dead yet. Oh, I know, Mr. Marston. Believe me, I know. What do I have to do? Time, Bill, right here. Oh, shit. I guess he can't. Come on, Bill, go! Bill! Come on, Bill, come on. This Mauser goes through bullets quickly, but goddamn. Yeah. Here we are. Finally. A one-way ticket to civilization, please. <laughs> a one-way ticket to civilization, please. <clears throat> <sighs> My research is complete. Much as I thought. There's no civilizing this savage land. I could have told you that for nothing. Ah, but they'll give me a prize in New Haven for this. <laughs> well, they bloody better. Well, goodbye, Mr. Marston. Best of luck, dear friend. Mm -hmm. So long, Professor. So long, sir. There, 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 hundred bucks. Oh, Bill, you're the best horse that there is in the whole darn world. Come on. There's a house that we can buy over here. <coughs> Bucks. I definitely uh, do not have four hundred dollars. <laughs> Back onto the horse we go. All right. Well, at least we know that that uh, house is there. Uh, we shall. We shall return. Go. go, Bill. All right. Holy shit. Uh, slow down. Oh man. Get out of my way, sir. effect over the tree. Rock star. What's amazing about it is that, you know, this is Red Dead Redemption 1.
crazy. Yeah, Bill. Yeah, yeah, Bill. Yeah, Bill. Woo! Wild Bill. Wild Bill's the fire, you guys. Right, hang out here, Wild Bill. Run, John. <laughs> I was like forced walking. But there, there, there. Yeah, man. Well, uh, I guess that's gonna be the end of the episode here today, man. Uh, if you guys want to be uh, the coolest people on the goddamn planet, as always, make sure you leave a like on the video. Maybe even subscribe to the channel. <laughs> I freaking love you guys. Wish you guys a total best, man. And I hope you guys have a freaking awesome rest of your day. I will see you guys in the very next episode, as always. And I hope for you to join me there as well. See you guys in the next one, man. Have a good one. Bye, Mike.